YouTube, welcome back. So, um, if you guys have watched other parts of our videos and stuff like that, obviously for me this year, um, racing season is coming to the end. So I'm not gonna hit the track anymore. So what we're gonna do is, what we are gonna do. The winter weather's coming. It's the last yes. nice day of weather, so uh, yeah. Yeah, we have a cold front coming in. It's gonna get pretty chilly, so we're gonna be in the shop for the rest of the year. Um, but the thing that we're gonna be started on today is if you've got watched, like I said, if you guys watched in the other videos, I got um, a complete front end, new hood, new front panels, new everything. I've been painting it. I have my paint job. Um, so what we're gonna do today is we are going to tear my front end apart and move forward from there. And he is super stoked about it. Of course. So, um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna tear this front, well I am gonna tear this front end apart and start putting on my new pieces. I don't know if we'll get any of them on, but we'll, we'll definitely get the old stuff off and out of the way. Uh, that way we can start looking at if there's anything we got to address under the old panels before the new stuff goes on. And then uh, start figuring out which of the pieces we're going to keep. Because we may keep some of the stuff from the old. Not so much on the outside, but some like the inner fenders. Uh, compare that stuff against what we got with the replacement front clip and uh, then we can start working our way forward not doing some more sandy sandy bits on the, uh, the rest of it so that yeah. we can put a single color on this whole car um, yep it's got... going to be a new beast for next year's racing I don't know about a beast I call it a beast don't 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 Slow play that down. Sure. <laughs> Whatever you say. But we are gonna be back when we're gonna, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the hood so we can take off piece by piece. So let's get started with that. off the left fender and we took off the grill we're gonna work on the right fender um, here are all my parts over here <laughs> uh, a lot of cleanup to do but so far everything's going really good everything's coming off really easy um, we're just you know working our way to the right side now so when we come back the right side will be off What's going on, woman? Your car's in pieces. So, actually, fun fact about this is that, you know, we have, we have taken off four, four front ends to Nova's. Four so far? Five? Five? Five front ends to Nova's so far. And, you know, once you start getting into it and everything like that, you start realizing how easy it is and so you start taking off all the bolts and stuff and then you're just like Ugh. you're just like what it's like a bolt after 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 a bolt and then you're like why isn't it coming off and you then you remember you're like oh yeah those hidden ones that like to get shoved up somewhere that give you that massive headache but we've that got it one one more bolt that one more bolt uh <laughs> But we've done enough front end so far that 
it's kind of a piece of cake now. It's literally just like, okay, let's take off a whole bunch of bolts and find that one more bolt. And everything's just kind of coming down to it. So everything's coming off pretty easy. Um, not running into anything. Knock on wood. Let me knock on your head. Hey. Uh, but yeah, we're getting the right side off and we'll go from there. So this side is the real reason that uh, we need to, we're actually changing out sheet metal. Um, the driver side fender is actually not in too bad a shape, but this pa passenger side fender got whacked up here at the front and is wrinkled up pretty bad and it's loaded with Bondo. Yeah, um, really loaded with Bondo. A lot of Bondo on this side and then there's rust in it. Uh, so basically, yeah, you can see how crappy this all is that's just loaded with filler um so this is the real reason and that we're wrong badging but <laughs> anyway this, <laughs> this is the reason that we got new front sheet metal for it uh the hood had some rust holes in it as well they were pretty small unless you were actually looking at it in person you probably couldn't tell on video that it had some rot in it but this fender is the biggest reason why we're replacing the front sheet metal and uh, all in all uh, everything else once you get past the sheet metal as you can see here i mean even the inner fender off the driver side is in great condition um, might even be a replacement i don't know if that's original or not but beneath the sheet metal everything you're making a ruckus hi <laughs> um everything in here is in great condition the, the firewalls in great condition there has been some patchwork done because this car has an aftermarket wiring harness in it um but it's sufficient it's not hurting anything but the frame's in fantastic shape all new brake stuff the brakes are in great shape the suspension's got tubulars upper and lowers you know aftermarket coil springs and shocks and this car under the skin is actually in fantastic condition, which is one of the reasons why we wanted it. A um, lot of good stuff here. It just needed uh, some beautification work. So. That's what I'm good at. Well, it's what she's going to get good at because she's got lots of it to do. Oh, I don't need to take that one off. <laughs> but, uh, and the hood hinges were, were whack. Oh. I don't know if you paid attention at all anytime we were opening and closing the hood on this car, but the hood doesn't open straight so we've got new hood hinges or well not new but replacement hood hinges they came with the front clip that we've got replacing both front fenders replacing the hood um, it did come with the full grill assembly as well as the uh, fill panel uh, we'll go through and we'll figure out what the best combination of parts is uh, to go back on here but essentially we're just ditching the front sheet metal we're not actually digging into any of the stuff that makes the car run and drive um, the wheels off to get the fender assembly out but we're going to be able to bolt that back on the car still going to be able to move around but with it being the off season we don't need to be able to take the car anywhere so no. we're uh at the perfect time to tear it apart and then while the front end's off we'll work on doing uh the little the, the color change from the firewall back before we actually bolt the new fenders on because then that saves us some masking effort right yeah all masking right sucks sometimes. so you got about what 30 bolts to get out of that side and we can get that fender off yes yeah okay so we'll uh we'll see a few more clips of whatever it is and then uh We'll have the front end off and maybe just maybe we'll set the new fenders on there just for shits and giggles right yeah, just see how, how um i like the color or if i'm gonna color change you know you're not go you're not changing color again <gasps> I Got them all. Yep, got them all. This side is a uh, much more, got a lot more rust in it, and uh, some of the bolts between the inner fender and the outer are 
completely wasted. So it had to come off as one whole piece, which with this car is doable. Oh, we got your antenna. I don't need it, it's okay. <laughs> the radio you don't have. Yeah, the radio I don't have. So, but there it is, that's off. Now we have all the junky stuff off the front end. It just needs uh, a little cleanup work. The fresh new stuff now. Yeah. You know, with it being like this right now, with you know no fenders or anything, great airflow for the track. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'm thinking that. Uh, <laughs> no. No. I'm, no. Yeah. I mean, if the engine compartment like would get of, so much air. If you want to look like one of those dips that uh, drives around with no front end on your car, then so be it. But I will not be caught dead in that in your car if that's how you want to drive it. Oh my goodness. I think that is silly. Now, no hood is one thing. No front fenders or anything. No, that's just, you're not a 32 Roadster. <laughs> well, we got them off. We're gonna lower it. Uh, we're gonna give you a sneak preview on how the car is going to look. I'll get it off the jack stands first. You wanna get it off the jack stands yeah. first? Okay. Yeah, you can see here. All right. Sneak preview on how this is gonna look. If the color is going to be good. I think it's gonna be good. Don't whack your door when you're putting that in there. You got that little tab that's gotta tuck behind the door. Yeah. the other side too. I like it. This side's got a little bit more light, so. So from blue to green, blue to green. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> hey, I'm proud of myself. Rattle can, best paint job. <laughs> I don't know if I call it the best paint job. For me, for me, it got the job done. It's yes. Definitely gonna look a lot better. Yes. Here for the next week. 
It is secured. It won't fall off. Well, what do you think? I like it. I like it. I can't wait to see the hood on, the Crowville vent, the, yeah. It's gonna be a completely different car. Well, it's gonna be a completely different color car. It's gonna be the same car. Whatever. Hmm. But front end is getting there, super excited. Um, like we talked about, racing is over for the year. It's gonna be shop time working on stuff yeah there's there's a there's a lot of work that we've got planned i don't know uh if you're one of our regular viewers you probably noticed that the uh the layout in the shop is a little bit different there was uh, a couple other cars in here that are now out of the shop we got them moved so that we could have a little bit more shop space to work on stuff um this car has got a couple of couple of big projects slated for it. One of them is getting it all this uh, green color, um, which is our good time filler project as far as between waiting for parts and budget to uh, finish doing the other work that's gonna happen. Um, we are planning to do the rear end on this car to do, well, to put a different gear ratio in the rear end and make it a posi. Um, that'll be that's one of the big ticket items for this car, as well as the color. Uh, the wagon is still down here in the shop. I was contemplating moving it out for the winter, but I ended up deciding to keep it down here. Uh, it'll be another one that I fill time with working on trying to get the brake system dialed in. I don't know how many videos we'll do. Um, maybe just a little updates here and there because Brake specifics on running brake systems. If you're not, if it's not anything fancy or crazy, which this is not, this is just a basic disc brake system, but it needs to be fully plumbed and all that sort of stuff. There's nothing exciting about that. It's not good YouTube content. So I don't know that you will see a whole lot of videos on that. And then that car, the, uh, the gasser is gonna be getting some work this winter with hopes of being able to get it out next year so that we can both go do a little bit of racing I, I've got to do floor pan work in that car. And uh, obviously, as you just saw when the uh, camera pointed over there, the front end still needs to be finished on that car. Um, if I remember right, it's been a while, I may even have to go back and watch my own videos, but the, the steering geometry is still not quite right. Uh, so I'll have to get that sorted out, figure out what it needs there for all of that to be happy. And then uh, it needs a bunch of other little things. We'll just call it that for now. Um, but this is today's project anyway. And uh, I, think it, I think it's a good start. Right? The fenders are just temporarily pinned on for now. So we can look at it with fenders on there that are the color it's going to be. Next time, um, I imagine the next video, we will be doing more work on this probably doing some sanding and getting ready to put some paint on the rest of the car from the firewall back, which means you'll have to do a bunch of masking. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to mask up all the glass so we don't have all the overspray. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Um, we got a mess of Chevelle parts between the stuff we took off and the other stuff that we've acquired to uh, put this front end back together with the best combination of parts that we have. I, I think it's actually going to come out pretty good. And uh, overall, we've got all winter to uh, get this one back together for you. Yeah. Which should, this one shouldn't be too bad. This no. should be pretty, pretty straightforward to do. And depending on time, we may tackle the trunk a little bit too. Yay! Because we've got trunk pans, which are sitting right over there in the back of the truck. We've got to get those, see, see about getting those trunk pans put in because it's a little rotten back there. But like I showed you earlier in the video, I and mean, under the skin of this car, this thing is rock solid. It's got a lot of good stuff in it that's already been upgraded over stock that's all in great shape. So we're just going to make it look a little bit better and it'll be ready to go for next year with a few tweaks to get a little bit more giddy up and go. Yeah. So.
Sign off with your friends. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We would really appreciate it. And watch those commercials, please. Um, yep, we're just going to tackle... Only if they're like 30 seconds or less. Yeah. If it's more than 30 seconds, skip We don't blame because you. Because that's terrible. But yep, uh, winter work is coming. And hope you guys stick along with us. Thanks. Bye.